Hey gang, in this video I'm going to cover least common multiple or LCM as we call it. The least common multiple is when you take the multiples of two numbers or more and you look for the least or the lowest of the common multiples. Now this is the old school way to do it, I'll show you that first. So 12 and 8. The old school way to do it is you would take 12 and you would take 8 and you would list them on top of each other and you would just start thinking of multiples. So I like to start with the bigger number first, so I'll say, okay, uh, multiples of 12, 12, that's 12 times 1, 24, that's 12 times 2, 36, that's 12 times 3, uh, 48, that's 12 times 4, and so on and so on, they go on forever, you might have to think of more, but at some point you have to stop, because you have to test the other number to see if it goes into any of these numbers, so multiples of 8 are 8, that's 8 times 1, and then 16, and then times 3 is 24, and I can stop because already, if I get my red pen out, you can see that I've hit a common multiple, it's the lowest of the common multiples, 24, and eventually there will be another common multiple, but right now the lowest common multiple is 24. Now this is the old way to do it, I'm not a huge fan of this way to find LCM, so I'm going to show you a completely new method to do. Now this method, I'm going to use 12 and 8 again to start, uses a division ladder, which we've used a lot of if you've watched my other videos or had me in class. So I'm going to put 12 and 8 in a division ladder. Now if you've watched how to find greatest common factor, or GCF instead of LCM, you use the same tool. You can also use this tool to reduce fractions, it's a great tool. So you think about numbers you can factor out, I look at 12 and 8 and I think, hmm, 2 goes into both, so that's 6 and 4, and then those both can be divided by 2 again, I could have just done 4 in the beginning, and then 2 goes into 6 3 times and twice. Now no common factors are for 3 and 2. Now here is the trick, once you're done your division ladder, because I can't factor any more numbers out, I've already factored out my greatest common factor 4. To get the least common multiple, and the key here is the word multiple, which is like multiply, we're going to make a big multiplication symbol, starting with the bottom number 3. We're going to draw a line from 3 and point it to 8. And then I'm going to, to make my multiplication symbol, since we're doing least common multiple, multiply, I'm going to go from the 2 to the 12. So I've gone from the bottommost term to the diagonal topmost term and then the bottommost term to the diagonal topmost term. Now at this point, if you think about multiplying, 12 times 2 and 3 times 8 should be the same number. And basically to find this number, if you don't already know it, you can do pick one of them to do, whichever one you find easier. So it's either 8 times 3 or 12 times 2. They both equal the same number, which in this case is 24. So this is a new way to find LCM. Instead of listing multiples, you can just do your division ladder, look at the bottom most term, multiply it times the top diagonal most term, look at the bottom most term, multiply it times the top diagonal most term, and both 12 times 2 and 3 times 8 are both 24, which is the lowest common multiple of those two numbers. I'm going to take you through a couple other examples just so we can get the hang of it. So here I have 24 and 28. So again, I'm going to throw them in my division ladder or my factor ladder. And I look at these two numbers and I say they're both even. Now again, if you know bigger numbers to factor out, you can. I'm just going low to show you a point. So 2 goes into 24 uh, 12 times and 2 goes into 28 14 times. And those are still even. And then I can go 2 again. That's 6 and 7, and 6 and 7 don't have any common factors. Now again, I could have done 4 from the beginning and I would have just gotten 6 and 7, and you could still do it at the 2 ladder rung. But you take your, again, you take your bottommost term, 6, and you multiply it times the diagonal top term, and then because it's, remember, it's least common multiple, so you make a big multiplication symbol, either 6 times 28 or 7 times 24 will be the same number. Now in this case, I don't know what either of these is, but I can pick whichever one I want to do to find the answer. I can either do 24 times 7 
or 28 times 6. It's one or the other. I would rather multiply by 6. Most people would. Not a lot of people like to multiply by 7. So I'm going to go off here to the side. I'm going to do 28 times 6, which is what I got right here. 24 times 7 should be the same number, but I picked this one. And then 6 times 8 is 48. And then I'll carry my 4. 6 times 2 is 12, plus 4 is 16. So it's 168. LCM equals 168, 168. So that's the least common multiple of 24 and 18 or 24 and 28, I mean. You can imagine listing multiples of these numbers, how hard that would be. This is a real easy, fast way to find the answer, okay? And if you want to check, if you're, not, if you're curious if you're right, try 24 times 7 and see if you get the same number. You should. You should if you did it right. Just a couple more examples I'll go through. Here I have 15 and 21, so I'll do 15. Oh, I'll stick with the black. Let me get my black. I'll stick with the black. I'll do 15 and 21, and the only number to factor out here is 3. 3 goes into 15 5 times, and 3 goes into 21 7 times. Now, 5 and 7 don't have any common factors, so you can see how here my ladder only has one rung. It doesn't really matter because I'm still going to do either 5 times 21 or 7 times 15. They both should equal the same number. Now, 7 times 15 it sounds way harder than 5 times 21, so I'm going to do 5 times 21 instead. That's 5, 2 times 5 is 10, so it's 105. LCM equals 105. See how fast that was? Again, imagine listening or listing the multiples of these numbers. This is way faster, way easier, and way more fun. Just two more examples I'll show you before I go. Here I have the numbers 8 and 15. Now this is a special example because when you put 8 and 15 in your division ladder, you'll see, hmm, nothing goes into both of these numbers. They have no common factors other than 1. So if you have two numbers whose only common factor is 1, then you still make a multiplication symbol in the middle, but now you just multiply the two numbers together. There's no factors to pull out, you just multiply these two numbers together. So I'm going to do 15 times 8, 8 times 5 is 40, 8 times 1 is 8, plus 4 is 12, so the LCM equals 120. So again, in this in this case, 8 and 15, they had no common factors other than 1, so you just multiply the two numbers together, and they'll both multiply to give you 120. 8 times 15 and 15 times 8, they both multiply to give you 120. One more example for the road, 24 and 72. Oh, can you imagine listing the multiples of 72 and 24 until you found a common one? No, 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 not necessary anymore. So I look at these two numbers, and I'm really good with my multiplication tables, and I know that 8 goes into both of them. 8 goes into 24 three times, and 8 goes into 72 nine times. And then 3 and 9, a lot of people miss this. They're both divisible by 3. Yes, 3 goes into 3 once, and 3 goes into 9 three times. Now, anytime you get a 1 at the bottom, that is like... Christmas, or Hanukkah, or whatever you celebrate. It's like a gift because your choices are 24 times 3 or 72 times 1. Hmm, which one sounds easier? I think it's the 1 times 72. So, LCM in this case is 72. And I found that pretty quick considering the numbers were so big. This is a fantastic way to find least common multiple. Have fun!